Today's video is about circles, and in circles we're going to see one of the most famous numbers of all times. It's called pi. I know some of you know it to many places. You've memorized the decimal places and so forth. But we're going to talk about pi as that ratio of circumference divided by diameter, because that, that is what pi represents. It represents a very famous ratio the circumference, the distance around a circle, divided by the distance across that circle. So we're in circles, and you can find this in the sixth grade math and focus textbook. It is a seventh grade concept, but it's found in the sixth grade pink textbook. As I've noted down here, um, it's in the pink sixth grade textbook, section 11, Chapter 11, Section 1. So in our first slide here, we have to talk about some of the vocabulary of a circle. So take a moment to study these math terms and their definitions. There are many things that we can learn about a circle. One of them being, what is the radius? The radius is the distance from the center of the circle to the outside edge. So radius, and I'm going to use the letter R, that's labeled right here. This arrow's pointing to the radius from the center to the outside edge. So it only goes halfway in the circle, as you can see there. The diameter, which is also called a chord, but it, if, it, if it is the diameter, it's the longest chord of a circle because the diameter is the distance from the outside edge to the opposite outside edge through the center of the circle. And I'm going to use the letter D here to represent this very long diameter because it is the longest chord of a circle because it passes through the center. I could put another diameter, or I'm sorry, another chord, let me correct that, another chord on this circle. And um, for instance, I could use the letter D and F. Chord D, F. That's a chord. A chord goes from the outside edge to another part of the outside edge, but it does not pass through the center of the circle. So a chord does not pass through the center of a circle, but it does connect two points on the outside edge of a circle. So three new vocabulary words there, radius, diameter, and chord. Looking at the next slide, we have some pictures with radius, diameter, and chord in it. In figure O, which is usually the center of a circle, either has a C or an O, um, it's usually labeled, and you can see here on our circle that it's labeled O. The center of the circle has segment A, B, C, D, E, D. As shown, name all the diameters that are drawn in this circle. Remember, a diameter has to go through the center. So CD does go through the center. That's a diameter segment CD. A to B also goes through that center O. So AB is also a diameter. However, ED is not. ED here, I'm going to use a different color. ED is the chord. So ED is just a chord. A radius is OA. OA is a radius. So from O, the center out to the edge, that's a radius. We also have OD, that's a radius. And OC is a radius. So we have three radius, but they're not called radiuses, they're called radii. Oh, we also have OB. OB is also a radius. So when you have several of them, more than one, it's called radii. Two eyes, radii. One is a radius, the other are called radii. Which line segment that joins two points on the circle is not a diameter? And I told you that. That's ED. 
Why is it not a diameter? Because it does not pass through the center. So a radius is half of a diameter. A diameter equals two radiuses, or a radius is equal to half of a diameter. That's what we're going to talk about in this slide. So if I'm given the radius only halfway across this pizza, I know if I double that times two, I'm going to get the diameter, which is four centimeters. If I'm given the diameter, if I divide it by two, I would get half of it, which would be the radius. So half of this Hurricane Cecilia, very large hurricane here, 423 kilometers across that, di that uh, Hurricane Cecilia, its radius, half of that would be 211 and 5 tenths kilometers, very large radius. This nice apple or cherry pie, you pick your favorite, um, its radius halfway across would be 3 and 36 hundredths inches, so its diameter times 2 would be 6 and 72 hundredths inches. Identifying the circumference of a circle. The circumference of a circle is the distance around the circle. So this hoop, this red hoop that you see, has the shape of a circle. The distance around it, so if I was to trace around this hoop, that's the circumference. The distance around the hoop is the circumference. This gentleman's walking in a circular path. Maybe it's around a pond, or maybe he just feels like walking in circles here. The distance around that circle is the circumference. If I was to take a string and measure around this circle here, that's the circumference, and then divide that circumference by the distance across, taking another string and measuring across that circle, that's called the diameter. If I was to take that circumference and divide it by the diameter, I would see that it would come out to be approximately 3 and something. That 3 and something is called pi. You could do this with any circular object. Measure the distance around it, and then measure the distance across it. If you divide those, you will get approximately 3. If you're accurate, you will get approximately 3 and something. Well, 3.1415926, and it keeps going. That's pi. Pi is a very famous ratio. It's the ratio of the circumference divided by the diameter. You'll get pi when you do that. You get approximately 3. So since circumference divided by diameter equals pi, what if I wanted to solve that for circumference? What if I want to know just this, circumference? The division problem. If I multiply both sides of this equation by the diameter, I would have now the circumference by itself. And yes, circumference is pi times diameter, or pi times diameter written that way. Circumference equals pi times diameter. That's a famous formula. How would I find if I don't know how, if it's a circle that's too big to measure around? If I know its diameter, if I know its diameter, and then I multiply it by approximately 3, 3.14159265, yes, I will get the distance around that circle. So pi times diameter will give me circumference. That's a famous formula. Circumference equals pi times diameter. Well, what if they gave me the radius? I also know that a diameter is 2 times the radius. So you can write the related formula as pi times 2 radius. So put a radius there. Usually, however, though, that formula is written 
with the numerical coefficient out front, then the pi symbol, then the radius. So I have two formulas for circumference, pi times diameter and 2 times pi times the radius, or pi times 2 radiuses. Um, some people remember this formula as cherry pies are delicious. Cherry pies, cherry pies are delicious. Circumference equals pi times diameter. Find the circumference of this plate. Well, they've given me the diameter. Then I could draw it into the center here. It's measured up here as 28 centimeters. If I want to find the circumference of this plate, I don't have to measure all the way around it. I can use my formula, circumference equals pi times diameter. We're going to use our scientific calculators and hit the pi button. We have to make sure that our calculators are in classic mode, however. So you may have to adjust your calculator to do this with me. Pi times diameter. I hit my pi button times my diameter of 28, and I'm going to see a very long display. The full display answer would be 87 decimal point nine six four five nine four three centimeters. That's the approximate answer. The exact answer is 28 pies. This is the exact answer. This is the approximate answer. But if I was to round this to the nearest tenth, ooh, that would be a little tricky. I have a nine sitting in my tenths place with a six after it. So that nine has to become a zero, that, which would move it up to a ten. Right, so it becomes a zero, and I'd put that one with my seven ones that I already have, and I would get to the nearest tenth, 88 and no tenths, show those zero tenths, centimeters. Also an approximate answer. The exact answer would be 28 pi centimeters. 28, 28 pi centimeters would be the exact answer. The approximate answer to the nearest tenth would be 88 and no tenths, zero tenths. Here's another example here in this picture as well. A radius of a bicycle wheel is 10 and 5 tenths inches. Find the circumference. I'm going to use the radius formula. Remember, 2 radiuses equals a diameter, so I could say pi times 2 radiuses. Numbers come first in algebra, so I'm going to put that number in front of my pi symbol. So again, to hit my pi button on my scientific calculator, hopefully it's in the classic mode, and you times 10 and a half. The full display answer would be 65 decimal point nine seven three four four five seven three inches. That's the approximate answer with the full display. If I was to round, let's say, to the hundredths, a seven hundredths with a three ten thousandths would stay seven hundredths. And I would get 65 and 97 hundredths as an approximate answer, inches. The exact answer would be 10 and a half times 2 would be 21 pi inches. 21 pi inches would be the, this would be the exact answer. So if the problem said, what is the exact answer? Oops, I guess that went off the screen. It would be 21 pi inches as the exact answer. The approximate answer with the full display, and then is here, and the approximate answer rounded to the hundredths would be 65 and 97 hundredths. Find the circumference of the circle using the given diameter measurement. I'm going to leave this one for you to do, and we'll go over this one in class. Using your formula, circumference equals pi times diameter. Find the circumference of the circle using the given radius measurement. And again, I'll leave this one for you to do. I would use the formula, circumference equals 2 times pi 
times the radius. Have your calculator in classic mode. We'll go over these two answers in class. So pause the video now and do those on your own. Um, let's say for the first one, let's round to the tenths place. Practice that. And for the second one, the soccer ball there with a radius of 60 millimeters, let's round to the hundredths place. Let's round to the hundredths on this one. Do those on your own. We'll go over those first thing in class. So let's look at the next slide. Let's work backwards. Oh, they're going to give us the circumference here. And we're going to have to figure out radius or diameter. Let's see what this says. The circumference of this pizza is 22 and a half centimeters. What is the diameter round to the nearest tenth? Okay, so I'm going to use my circumference equals pi times diameter formula. I have 22 and a half uh, centimeters as my circumference. I know my pi button on my pi calculator times diameter. So first thing I can do here is divide both sides by pi. And I get approximately 7 and 16 hundredths, because it says round to the tenths. So I'm just going to go out to the hundredths for my diameter when I divide by pi. So rounding to the hundredths, that would give me seven, oh, round to the tenths, this says. My hundredths shown, so now I know how to round my tenths, would be seven and two tenths centimeters. Working backwards again, they've given me circumference, find the radius. Circumference equals two times pi times the radius. Two and three tenths is my circumference. I know my two, I know my pi button. I don't know my radius. So I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 2 pi's. 2 and 3 tenths divided by 2 pi's doesn't tell me how to round, so I'm going to leave the full display as my answer here. And I'm getting a very long decimal on my calculator. Decimal point 36605-6396. Label would be meters is my radius. It's approximately 4 tenths, but didn't say round, so I'm going to leave the full display. What about semicircles and quadrants? Well, a semicircle, you may know, is half of a circle. Half of a circular arc is a semicircle. A quarter of a circular arc is a quadrant. So if I wanted to find the circumference of a quarter of a circle, I would put a quarter in front of my formula. Circumference equals a quarter of pi times diameter. For half of a circle, I would put a half in front of it. Circumference equals half of pi times diameter. And we'll leave the last part of the notes to do in class, and that's it for today's video.